Hello beauties, welcome back. It's wow. been a while. Wow, wow, wow. So if you guys are new here, I'm Rowena, this is Felicia, I'm team dry, like super, super, super dry. Fel is team oily. And today we have a very exciting episode talking about new launches. Yes. Every month or so, there's about a handful of new products that come out from a lot of our favorite brands. And this kind of video series is where we round up the new launches and we go through them because we've tried and tested them and we give you our thoughts just so that you guys can make the right purchasing decisions and if it's worth your monies yeah today we have a mixture i think it's a pretty good mixture of like the brands you'll find at sephora but also some korean brands also your drugstore type brands and it's really only bliss, I think. <laughs> yeah, so we cover the scope. But before we start, please make sure you subscribe to our newsletter because you get a free e-magazine every month. And we talk a lot more in depth about these types of products as well as mm -hmm. our inner circle, which is Beauty Within's kind of like intimate group where you guys can all befriend each other, talk to each other about your own skincare experiences. And it's fun because we host workshops and live events and we're gonna build that out with you guys. And you guys can get some discount codes to because some of these brands. We'll leave all the information in the description. So yeah, check it out and let's just get started with the first brand, which is Glow, Glow Recipe. Glow Recipes New Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Sunscreen. So this has broad spectrum SPF 50. It is both chemical and mineral. So I think mm -hmm. it's like the blend really helps give you that broad spectrum coverage. Mm -hmm. And I just think this packaging, it reminds me of the dew drops. The packaging yes. is kind of iridescent like that. And iridescent and also because it's within their watermelon line, it also mimics the watermelon spray. Yeah. That's basically what put Glow Recipe on the map. If you guys haven't tried anything, it's like watermelon. You can find videos of them like crushing the watermelon in Factories. their factory. Yeah. And the interesting thing is with their latest product additions to the line, whether it's in the avocado series or the watermelon, there has been less and less of that kind of like potent aroma of watermelon. And this one I think is the least of all because it's fragrance yeah. free, free of synthetic fragrance yeah, yeah, yeah. and also essential oil free. Yes. I think it's great that they did 50 SPF yeah. and um, looking into the like studies, they say when you combine chemical filters and physical filters, you can get actually a higher protection mm -hmm. veil on the skin. So that's maybe why they were able to achieve yeah. 50. And you might find it surprising because it's like, it's quite lightweight in its fluid, but then when you work it in, yeah. it's like a night cream. Yeah. You know, the level of kind of oils in it. I think I had really high hopes. It's very fluid. Yeah. So the way that it comes out, but I just thought the way that it goes into your skin would be a lot more, you just go like this and like it goes into your skin. Oh yeah. But this you have to work in. Oh yeah, because it goes on like that whiter. Yeah. But then I was still like impressed in the way it blended in. You work it in and it's still white for yeah. a bit and then and it goes then it in. Goes in. So $34 for 50 mils. Pretty sure this took them a long time to formulate. Yeah. So congrats on your first sunscreen. <laughs> Next we have a little friend from Innisfree. Okay, so this is the Volcanic Clay HA PHA Metacasticide Pore Clearing Calming Clay Mask. So we first came across this actually at the Innisfree event. One of the girls was showing us the range. There was like cherry blossom, there's their green tea line, and we're like, what is this? Because they have their volcanic charcoal line. Mm -hmm. And then this is a new baby. Yes. I think it's maybe been out in Korea for a bit. But when she squeezed it onto our hand, we're like, oh my God, it's like watery clay mask. Yeah. Yeah. It's so smooth and... It's like a moisturizer. Mm but yes. then it's clay and then it's drying already. Mm -hmm. So that's the crazy thing is that it dries within like how, like three minutes? Yeah. So it is like designed to be a flash mask and then the AHA and the metacasticide work together to kind of like break down any dead skin and things that are trapped in your pores and then you wash it off. Mm. 
What I will say is though, that it does leave that dry mask feeling. Yeah, so I would not have this on longer than what is suggested. You know, sometimes you can like leave it on. Belle leaves clay masks on for an hour. Yeah, like you know the wind? That like just always feels nourished. This is definitely more like dry, okay, wash off. I haven't had the time to use this yet, but I think the way that I would use it is I'd actually put this on for maybe two minutes, mm -hmm. see where it's at. If it's already dry, I'd rinse it off and then put on a sheet mask. Mm, yeah. So it's like instant replenishing. And for $18 for this amount, it's like pretty affordable. So if you're looking for a clay mask, that's something that you can dabble in. Just make sure you don't leave it on beyond the three minutes yeah, or like don't. beyond the recommended time. Shall we move to another sunscreen? Yes. This is the Supergoop Resetting Refreshing Mist. And listen. Bye face shake weight, baby. <laughs> I'm just kidding. When I first got this, I was super excited because it's like a spraying SPF. Mm -hmm. It's like we always get questions and we always also ask ourselves, how can we reapply sunscreen throughout the day? Mm -hmm. This is one of the answers. It's claiming to be more of a matte finish, but it's very glowy. It is like more oil based. It's like nourishing. Yeah. And that was the interesting thing. Like when I first used it on my hand. Ooh. Yeah. And I didn't know it was supposed to be mattifying because apparently they have the optical diffusing silylate to help absorb oil and reduce the shine to give a matte finish. But on top of that, they have the English filled mustard and China wood oil. But I feel I only can feel the oil part of it. Yeah. Rather than the mattifying. Maybe just like, I'm gonna try some and on And then the spray. The spray's another, it's like, Okay, yes, that could be a little better. It also acts as like a makeup setting spray, yeah. which is cool. <laughs> I think that is really cool, actually. I just think in general, Supergoop does an amazing job at formulating so many different sunscreens that going back to what we said when we were talking about glow recipes is that the purpose of sunscreen is to find one that works for you. Yeah. So they literally, they built a company around SPF. Yeah. So if this one doesn't work for you, there's like dozens of others that could work. So mm -hmm. you guys know I love my unscreen and I recently started started using their sunscreen stick. I forgot if it's mm -hmm. the glow stick. The translucent one? Yeah, but it's basically, to me, it just feels like unseen, but in a stick form. Mm. So that I think is great. And if you want that fine mist, they have another mist, which was their first one mm. before this came out, which isn't by phase, but it does the same thing. You know, you spray it on, top up your sunscreen, but of course, like an actual sunscreen will always be better than like a spray form. Spray. You'll have to spray a lot to get like the same so kind make of- Make sure you get the even coverage. It is 16 to $32. Okay. You know, I think it's Pretty actually decent. a great, like it's, it's a small enough thing to have in your bag to remind yourself to apply sunscreen or to reapply sunscreen. Yeah. Very similar to the glow stick. Okay, next. Let's go here. This looks interesting. This looks beautiful. Wow. So this is the By Wish Trends new retinol and bakuchiol night cream. And I have to say, I'm a fan of this consistency. It is so smooth. Whoa, the <laughs> The product came out the same color as the pump. <laughs> it is actually more neon, huh? Yeah, I wonder if they, for if, if the, <laughs> I can't even talk because I'm so excited. <laughs> I wonder if they pick this color to match, to match this or mm. vice versa, because mm. this is pretty sweet. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Rowena would love this! So it has the combination of retinol and bakuchiol. And the thing with that is, I think this is a really good starting retinol product. Mm -hmm. One, because it's a night cream, so it's at the end of your routine and there's already a lot of buffer, so you're not gonna experience any kind of like dryness. Second of all, it's got retinol, and retinol has to convert a two-step process to become retinoic acid which will help with your skin, right? Versus something like the tretinoin, the scarier types or the yeah. more potent types. Yes. So I think if you're looking into like an entry level retinol product, this is like no brainer. You can just go into it without really feeling any hesitation or scariness mm. of peeling. Mm. So there's a range of things that retinol or vitamin A helps mm -hmm. with. For my oily acne prone skin, I personally use it for acne and pores because let me tell you, retinols can change your skin texture, consistency, oil production 
It can really help balance out the sebum. It can minimize your pores because it's helping with the sebum. Renewal of your skin, which prevents breakouts from happening. This one's a moisturizer, it's $28. Just a reminder to not use any crazy active ingredients before this, especially vitamin C or exfoliants. Yeah because you just you want it to shine on its own. If you want yeah. to use those products, you can use it during the daytime and then just keep this as your nighttime. All righties, next we have one of my favorite brands yeah. of all time. This is the Hari Haru and they came out with a black rice hyaluronic wonderful ampoule. It is beautiful and it's one of those ampoules that it's like, it's thick. Yeah. It's even thicker than the toner. Yeah. It's and you can be. see that there's bubbles in there. What did you think like upon first use and then like repeatedly? It really plumps the skin. Mm. It's more of like a face wash commercial. It stays in your skin. Yeah. <laughs> it's like whoosh and then it's like plump. The cool thing is it's like you know how some serums they stay in that form and then you work it in and it's like hydrating but this kind of gets lighter in consistency too as you spread it. Just it just feels so cooling. Yeah. How I first used this yes. was after this two month long hormonal acne that I got. Like I got cystic acne again, I got jaw, chin, everything. And then when we got this, I immediately started using it. The next day I could visibly see brightened skin. It like helped with the redness and it helped like in this cheek area. I get really dull if there's something off. And then when I used it, it was like visibly brighter. The black rice, the EGF and the FGF. Yes, they, they have, <laughs> what is it? The epithelial growth factor and the fibroblast growth factor. Fibroblast reminds me of like Astro Blasters at Disneyland. Like the Astro Toy Story one? game where you're like shooting. Oh yeah. <laughs> Also, the polypeptides help with the EGF and the FGF to speed up wound recovery. And like, maybe that's what happened because it yeah. seriously was. Very similar to Fellas, like we just, I like trying products just to try products first. In my mind, this was just like the toner, mm. but in ample form. Mm. So I just thought like, oh, black rice, mm. very hydrating, hyaluronic acid, that's it. Mm -mm. But this is like, understated yeah it like doesn't scream anything but it's like doing the most because i was gonna say if, it, if this is like a 20 dollars serum mm. that's doing the most it's like say no more fam like i'm gonna get it yeah but 50 dollars it's up there in terms of a serum but honestly like that aside i don't know like cost wise where everyone is it was genuinely the first product i've tried in a long time apart from a chemical exfoliant where I woke up and saw different results. I'm just thinking about this from like a consumer perspective. If it was a different color maybe than the rest of the line, it might like in my mind help differentiate the fact that this is, this is, I'm different. I'm different. But I think it's also because it's just in their black rice yeah. line that they did it like that. But like, damn, it took you guys two years to formulate this and you yeah. injected so much new tech into it for intensive repair and it does the most. <laughs> like you should have some gold flakes in here. Yeah. I wouldn't even be mad. I don't want to come off seeming like just because I like the toner that I automatically like yeah. everything else because like the moisturizer in the black rice line, I don't use it as much because it's just not, nourishing enough for me right now yeah. but this is like i cannot even describe fell still would get it at 50 dollars. yeah <laughs> i think after what you said about or like actually reading into it it gave me a new appreciation yeah for this product mm. i will be honest i just treated it as like a hydrating serum i mean it looks like that yeah and they didn't do anything different yeah but good work jay so we can talk about the new Premier Crew line. Mm -hmm. The whole concept behind this, it's like patented technology that has 10 years of research with Harvard Medical School. Mm -hmm. And it's all like, they try to be as eco-friendly, as sustainable as possible. The actual cream and the actual serum though, mm -hmm. It's pretty good. I only tried the serum, yeah. not the moisturizer. I don't th I don't think this is for you. I think both of these are actually for normal to dry skin. Yeah. And then probably for more mature skin. This is their like premier line. Mm -hmm. Which is why you'll see it in the price. 119, 129. Like I was like, whoa! I test products blind because I don't want to be affected by reviews or what they say. I just want to like experience it as is. So the first time I used this serum, I was like, 
Wow, this is this is smooth. smooth. <laughs> yes. And do you realize Cordely, I feel like, has a very specific texture. It's like they hold their form, but then they just blend into your skin. Yeah, and your skin just absorbs it. It's like a grape mucus. Like if you squished the grape and kind of added a few oils into mm -hmm. it and like made that smooth, yes. they all have this like gel-like consistency. Yeah. yeah, I actually really enjoy the aroma of it, which is what it's like. It's mask, rose, and violet. Yeah. To me, I'm like when I when I use these two together, the first thought I had my unsophisticated palette or mm. like scent. I was like cinnamon. It's like a it's like a gingerbread cookie latte. But like I'm here for it. I don't know. It's like floral to me. So this serum actually has 3.5 times more hyaluronic acid than the cream. And for the cream, I actually think this might be too thick for you, but it is divine. Oh yeah, the it actually texture feels like of the it, fresh. Yeah. A little bit. It's like it just kind of blends into your skin like it's butter. Let me tell you, I can use these creams now. Like, I don't know what it is. I might not use as much as you. Yeah. My skin might not absorb Excuse it as quickly, me. but it's like, I can use it. Would you continue using this? Oh yeah. A this thousand percent, sure. yes. All in all, I feel like this is actually a really great serum. The price point is a little bit hefty, so yes. definitely not something you have to get whatsoever. But you can appreciate the science and innovation yeah. that they collaborated with. It's a definite yes for me. Mm. And then next they have this new Vinyl Therapist, Vino Therapist. Mm. And like they have a hand and nail repair cream as well as a vegan body butter. Mm. So the hand cream, love. So good. This one I haven't tried yet, but we'll try it for the first time. Oh, I tried it all over my body. Do you like? I like Does it. it it's work? very lush and like smooth shea butter. Whoa. And it's actually got a very light scent. Yeah, I it's love so satisfying. When you see that, you can just imagine the machine going like, <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> and then it goes. <laughs> 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 so the oh, wow. cool thing with this is that it's formulated also for eczema um, skin. Whoa! The antioxidants from the grapes actually help with eczema and sensitive skin. And the cool thing is. Even though it's quite thick, it doesn't it leave it oily. It doesn't. Yeah. Even for my oily Whoa. skin. I'm so the fan. reason why we like this, oh my God, this hand and nail repairing cream, you put it on and it's almost got this water burst kind of effect. It does. It becomes so lightweight. The this line cream. to me is like a holiday line. <laughs> it has like Celebratory. cinnamon. <laughs> like, She's just like, hmm, what is oh, this? I don't know, hmm, maybe my skin is savory just... or sweet. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is only $15. I would highly recommend this to anyone. Fire sounds? So they came out with the new Squalane Copper Peptide Rapid Plumping Serum. So this is like a very subtle milky blue. It is. You know what it reminds me of? The that spa in in Europe. What is it? The ah, oh, the blue lagoon. The, the blue, blue lagoon. lagoon. Yeah. yeah, in Iceland. In Iceland, yes. Yeah. Once again, it's like that biosense consistency. Yeah. Where it's hydrating, but it leaves just enough of this like thin Nourish nourishment. Thin nourishment. Yeah. So like copper peptides are, you know, in that family of skin barrier building ingredients to really help with firming and you know fine lines it's interesting not a lot of brands. brands formulate with it with the copper peptide as an ingredient very similar to what we mentioned about the biowish trend with it's like if you have an active ingredient don't mix it with vitamin c's ha's bha's retinol just want it to shine on its own mm -hmm. and then yes if you want to use other products just alternate using them but this can be used with niacinamide actually there's a little bit of polyglutamic acid so it's lightly exfoliating too mm. while building the skin 68 dollars for a plumping serum i think it's worth trying to see if the copper peptides work great for your skin, mm -hmm. especially if firmness, elasticity, anti-aging is something that you're looking forward to. It's like a preventative to. ingredient. Yeah, and I feel like it does come with a lot compared to their other serums. Yes. So that is, I think, worth noting. Mm -hmm. But just as like a more of a hydrating plumping serum, I think there's 
a lot on the market. Yeah, if Biosense is something you're curious about but you don't necessarily want that, mm -hmm. what's your favorites? Because I really like the lactic acid and the toning. That's what I was gonna say. I feel like because they have a lot of amazing serums that we use already mm -hmm. and it's more concentrated for like hyperpigmentation yeah. or you know dark spots, I would gravitate towards those more mm. first before trying something like this. Yeah. Okay, moving on to the vegan rice milk from Goodall. So we know Goodall from the Vita C yes. serums. Yes. This is like so unexpected. When I opened the box, oh. I was like, wow, was not expecting this. It's so cute. It's so cute. And let me tell you, it's almost in the same wheelhouse. Whoa of the Haru. Wait, I just, I get, I don't know why this is so satisfying. No, it's like it science project when you're in elementary school. Yeah. So it's actually more lighter weight than the Haru Haru black rice Whoa. toner, but it comes out kind of viscousy in a very similar way, but it goes on Whoa. like water. So it's so hydrating, so soothing. And like for about a week, I was using both of these and my skin was jumping for joy yeah. and healing itself from oh. hormonal cystic acne. The worst two months I've had in my life for like four years. You know how like you wash your rice and yeah. like back in the day, your mom would be like, oh, you can use it as your skin. But like there are very subtle brightening properties within rice. So that's what that does. And I want you to try this too. Wait, what is the aqua ceramide? Great for skin berry, of course, and the sandui. I just made that sandui. sound like not Korean. Yes. And there's also prebiotics in here that's also helping with your skin barrier. Whoa, this is like recyclable. Yes, you can cut it open when you're done and it just like recycles. It's like paper. Mm. And then this lotion is so perfect for like combo oily skin that I'm like crying. I don't know about you, but it might be a good summer moisturizer. Oh, it's breathable, but thick. Yeah, like this perfect lotion. Yeah. But I don't think it's groundbreaking in any way. It's just like a very soothing, calming moisturizer with a very pleasant consistency. So after the shower, I'm like, ding, ding, ding. So good. $20 for yes. this baby. Highly recommend if you're looking for a lighter version of the Haru. All right, our last product for the day. Mm -hmm. This is the Bliss. AHA BHA liquid exfoliant. So I don't know what makes it pro. I think it's like the clinical strength mm -hmm. line. I love a lot of Bliss products. Bliss and Versed are very yeah. similar for me in that although they look cute, they're formulated very well. This is actually a two minute exfoliant. Oh, it's a rinse off exfoliant. Yeah, it's got 11% of that whole chemical yeah. exfoliating concoction. I think if you're not used to chemical exfoliants, you might feel a tingle, but I just used it on a cotton pad, put it and spread it all over my face and I didn't really feel anything. Mm. So you might forget that you have it on, but then you just wash it off. And I feel like this would be so good for blackheads, whiteheads, and just clogged Ooh. pores on your nose. So this is how much? 20 doll hairs. Ah, excellent, yes. To be expected with Bliss, love it. So these are all pretty exciting products. I'm glad that there were some that were like visibly oh, yeah. skin changing. I can't believe I forgot to bring the Crave. The great the body. body relief is amazing mm. for my neck because it's been eczema breaking up. But we've talked about it in our lives, so if you guys wanna see, you guys can go there. And yeah, if you want more info, please join the Beauty Within's Inner Circle community where we get intimate about skincare. And if you have any other questions, leave them below, sign up to our newsletter, follow our Instagram, and click subscribe and like if you haven't already. You stay in the know. Oh, the damn. Yay, what is something you learned this week, Val? Oh my God, we haven't asked each other What's that What's something for you so learned long. for the past three, four, five months. Um, oh, I guess it's like a post that I saw. It's like, if you give yourself three days to do something, you'll use that three days. If you give yourself three hours to do something, you'll use three hours. So it's like this kind of mental time frame that puts into perspective, like we can do anything in the time that we have. It's just like how much you wanna push yourself. Kind of thing yeah sometimes i fall into this kind of rut of feeling like i have a lot of things to do but if i was to trim the fat off of it to make it like lean meat 
I could probably do it like that. Like something that I think takes three days only takes 30 minutes or something like that. So yeah, working on that, especially when life gets crazy and there oh, are a lot husband. of things to do. Yeah, but that's my thing. What about you? I just published 10 lessons I learned in my 20s. So I started scripting that in December mm -hmm. and then worked on one draft, didn't like it, rewrote the script and then recreated the video. Mm -hmm. So I felt like in the past three months on and off, it was a journey. There's very specific things that you need to be at a specific place in your life for you to be able to create. Mm -hmm. And I think I just had to wait three months for the video to come out. Mm. But then when the time came, which was last night at 2 a.m., everything just came together perfectly. Mm -hmm. Like I would drop music in and then for whatever reason, the beat just changes when it's supposed to. Mm -hmm. And then it just like gets super inspirational randomly, but it just matches perfectly with mm -hmm. what I'm creating. Taking a step back, what I learned from that is just, there's timing to everything. Mm -hmm. And that if you're trying your best, if you believe in yourself, if you believe in the universe, things will just come together. Mm -hmm. Like you still need to work hard and you still need to do what you gotta do. Mm -hmm but trust that it will just come together. Trust the process. Time, what a interesting wonder and thing to think about. If you're thinking of films on time, Christopher Nolan does it the best. <laughs> okay, anyway, on that note, hope you guys are doing well and we'll see you very soon. Bye.